Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, do we have some content to talk about today, guys. There are multiple big things coming to Path to Glory on FC24 today, potentially including that Midfielder Academy Evo as that pack has been added to the code and a guaranteed Path to Glory Upgrade Pack SBC. That is something we're looking forward to today. I want to talk about that and on top of all that, we have breaking news about the next promo coming to this game. It introduces more live cards and is starting to create a little bit of panic and uncertainty around Path to Glory cards and these live cards since we have big names leaked and more live cards upcoming. We're going to cover all of that and more in today's video, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we go forward into today on Wednesday, let's look back to yesterday on Tuesday with our player SBC, one of the two that we were waiting for ever so impatiently, right? The expectations were high for Araujo, and he sort of delivered. I want to talk about that for a second. A lot of people are excited about this SBC. I am not as excited as I wish I would be, to be completely honest. 3-3, three, three, medium high. Stats look unbelievable. That's the best part of this card, is that he has stats that are great, and he has the potential to upgrade. That's the, what he has going for him for sure. 95 defending and 95 physical. Look at those physical stats, guys. He is basically maxed out besides stamina. You put an anchor or a shadow on this card, he is statistically one of the best center backs in the game. The problem that I have is the play styles. EA did not give him Aerial Plus, which his team of the season card has and I think a lot of people were expecting Araujo to have that and that's what makes some of his previous special versions so good. He also does not have intercept which of course could be potentially the playstyle plus they add to this card if Uruguay go on and win three games which I think a lot of people are expecting Araujo to get two upgrades. The first plus one and then the three win upgrade which would be a playstyle plus. It's very possible that he goes ahead and he does that but again guys the playstyles for me kind of especially with all the other SBCs that have been out like the um the Joe Gomez specifically that SBC it's that and the playstyles that are kind of pulling me back off of this card it's 532,000 coins which isn't a terrible price at all it's okay honestly I rated this SBC on stream yesterday as a 7 out of 10 I feel like it was a little bit generous just because of how meta and how important playstyles specific playstyles on defenders are are. I don't think this card is bad. I think what this is what I was talking about yesterday on stream. I was saying I don't like doing an SBC in hopes of a card becoming good or really good because of the upgrades, right? I don't want to rely on the upgrades to get a card that I actually want to use. I want a good card to start with and then hopefully get upgrades and having the potential of becoming something great. And I felt like for me, the Joe Gomez has a better potential of becoming great than the Araujo does. But I mean, it's completely up to you. Like I'm enjoying Joe Gomez right now. I'm using him as a right back. It kind of works. He's better as a center back, but jockey plus black plus and bruiser. Now, a lot of people are comparing these two and saying, should I do Joe Gomez? Or should I do Araujo? And to be honest, do whichever one is better for you and your type of play. Joe Gomez isn't going to be as much of a force. He's not as strong, in my opinion, in game, um, even statistically, as Araujo is. But he's better in some other areas that I think um, Araujo isn't. And I really like that Joe Gomez card. Another reason why I'm kind of steering clear of Araujo, who I was planning to do, honestly, totally planning to do him. I've got some Barca links in the team here. We've got uh, Cancelo and I've had some other Barca players in the team recently too. But I got Vidic yesterday, guys, from an 85 times five. That was on the second channel if you guys want to check it out. The 85 fives seemed really cracked yesterday for some reason. A lot of you guys are packing big stuff. So make sure you're doing those every single day with your craft and with the rinses. Uh, so now that I have Vidic and now I have VVD, of course, and Joe Gomez, I'm set in the defense, or at least that's how I feel. So another reason for me personally not to be doing Araujo. Also, I mean, Araujo would fit with the links because I did pack Red Fede yesterday from nine win weekend league rewards. It was the worst weekend league. Uh, honestly, I don't know. It was the worst one I think I've experienced in the second half of the game this year. It was not fun. It was just the most sweaty and the most annoying. I really just wanted a weekend league to be over, which is why I just kind of finished it off, got my nine wins. I got a good pull, but I know Araujo would technically fit my team actually really good, and I might end up doing him, but I, I don't know, man. I do believe that he's going to get some upgrades, but he just doesn't strike me as a card that I'm going to personally want to use with the other cards that I still 
have. And again, I feel like I'm relying on the upgrades for him to be great. And I don't love that. But if Araujo is a card you're going to do, go ahead and do it. He's probably still going to be very, very good. It just comes down to personal preference, I think, on this one. Now, the other SBC that we had yesterday, which actually, we only had SBC content yesterday, guys. There was only two SBCs released, and that was it for our content yesterday. Besides the refreshes, it was a bit quiet of a day. We had the 90-plus Tots Path to Glory or goal, Greats of the Game uh icon upgrade pack which basically this was a 90 plus tots pack because we opened some on stream yesterday and the likelihood of you to pack a path to glory or an icon was slim to none actually consider yourself insanely lucky if you got either of those it was a tots simulator it says 14,000 coins to do this sbc footbin is totally capping on that this sbc is about 50,000 coins uh because the i believe the team of the season cards on the market right now are like 40,000 coins plus which is crazy um they continue to go up this much but uh, EA keeps requiring them, and they don't supply them. We'll mention this every single day. So they are 42, 43,000 coins on the market right now. It's a cheap gamble, right? We know this. We talk about this all the time throughout the year. When these gamble packs come out or player picks that are that cheap, 50,000 coins, 60, 70,000 coins, even 80,000 coin SBCs, you never expect to get anything super crazy out of those just because they're cheap right and more people can do them so if a lot of people are able to do them the weight isn't going to be that good but it's still nice to have something there to have a pack to do again i was hoping maybe for a tradable one just to bring down those tots prices but it's not looking like that's going to happen and it's not looking like those tots cards are going to go down in price today at all either so that's the update from yesterday's content they also did refresh the packs in the store which i opened my third and final 650k pack with coins and um it was pretty decent actually i packed three icons from it schmeichel was one of them and i packed tyler adams yesterday so i'm saving these dupes for whatever content is coming today and that's what I want to look at here in just a second after we take a little bit of a peek at some Path to Glory cards because these cards yesterday, uh, up until a couple of hours ago, they were pretty much unmoved. They were pretty stable. There was a couple cards that dipped a little bit. You can see Kyle Walker's 945K, um, Lukaku's 615. Most of these cards are just kind of staying in their normal range. Maybe a couple are up a little bit. Maybe a couple are down a little bit. They're, the center backs from yesterday, um, the only one that I think was really impacted the most, it seemed like, was Vintage. Vintage is now under a million coins. And, uh, you know, other Path to Glory and Copa America center backs didn't move that much. Actually, the center back that might have dropped off the most yesterday because of Araujo was Skriniar. Skriniar had 40,000 coins when he was like 50K, I think, two days ago. That's a bit low, especially for a link to Barcola. That's a card that I have my eye on as a low budget. I guess Gavardiol is down a little bit as well, and that was somebody who yesterday we were mentioning to sell. Now, we're looking forward to that Enzo Fernandez today, which we'll talk about in a second, um, but we're going to talk about Path to Glory prices a little bit more towards the middle to the end of the video because today is a big day for PTG content, as we mentioned in the intro, because of some pack code and the potential of a guaranteed Path to Glory player SBC, which we were hoping would be a part of this promo. And it looks like it is because along with the 90 plus pack that we got yesterday, there was also pack code added for a pack that is just containing one Path to Glory player. Now notice it doesn't say untradeable. That doesn't mean it's going to be a tradable pack unless EA mistakes something here and mess it up. Also, the 90 plus pack from yesterday did not say tradable. And it was, of course, an untradeable pack, as these guarantees always are. So if they're giving us a chance at a guaranteed PTG, I mean, that's that's pretty sick. We're talking live cards here with the potential to get a fourth playstyle plus if the country goes decently far in either Copa America or the Euros. This is going to be a very, very like hyped SBC. It's on the level of the ultimate tots guarantee. I would argue that it is on that type of level because of the cards that are in this pack, the potential that you have to pack something good. And of course the potential for it to upgrade. So if this SBC comes today, which I think it would either be today or tomorrow, once the ultimate tots guarantee goes away, technically there's two potential days for when this could come. How much would it cost? Well, I would have to imagine that it would be somewhere around 150 to 200 K because it can't be that cheap. I mean, I would like it to be cheap, and there are plenty of fodder cards in here, right? Like you've got a uh, Fuel Crook 50k, Salazai, Shik, they're 26,000 coins, and you got a couple of cards 
that are under 100k still but then of course you have a lot of really expensive cards so i think ea can get away with this sbc being maybe 150 to 200 thousand coins because of all the big ticket players like the depaul the davies the alvarez and of course saliba de young pedri chiesa and all of those guys that are in the ptg team now this is one thing to mention this pack says nothing about the icons of the heroes this is only for the path to glory players copa america or the euros i believe 100 percent guys when this sbc comes out if it is today or tomorrow it is going to make fodder go up absolutely it's going to go up i mean 88s right now we're already eleven and a half thousand coins there's no shot that they go down uh, if this SBC comes out, just because this is going to be a very, very hyped SBC. By the way, Footbin update. I'm getting used to this still, man. I mean, yesterday, Footbin did a complete uh, new update to the website, guys, and there's some things that just look a lot different. Um, if you're noticing, like, Nate, this looks weird. Yeah, it does. It looks a little bit weird. I really hope they change the size of the prices. Those need to be bigger, in my opinion. Um, other than that, it seems to be a mostly visual update, which just takes a little bit of getting used to. But then Footbin, I guess, is going to be operating the same as normal and as always. So hopefully their price uh, updates can continue to be snappy and quick and uh, not have delays like there have been recently on Fridays. But I digress. Sell the fodder today, guys, is what I would do. If you have some in your club, if you invested in any, I think today would be a good sell day for that. And maybe even as well, uh, team of the season cards could be a good time to sell those before maybe you incur any more risk of EA finally dropping some tradable supply here. These cards could go 40, they could go close to 50K plus, to be completely honest. Um, who knows because of how much hype that SBC is going to have today. And I would be surprised if it didn't require a tots or a team of the week. But pro tip would be sell some of that fodder today. It should be a day of a lot of demand. So that'd be when you would want to sell. Here's the other piece of content that could be today or could be tomorrow, guys. We're looking at the Festival of Football Academy Midfielders pack this was added to the code yesterday as well before content which is containing seven festival football academy midfielders so they're not upping the number of players in this pack right we had seven attackers and we were a little bit disappointed that it was only seven players looks like it is the exact same for the midfielders it's just going to be seven of them again you focus on the major nations like we had olise from france we had richarlison from brazil probably some of those major nations are going to be represented again when this evo does come out now i thought that since that pack was added to the code very quickly yesterday that that evolution might come out yesterday but it didn't hopefully it comes out today it also could come out tomorrow it also could be friday like there's no telling when that evolution could be but if we get that today and finally the enzo fernandez sbc it could be a really really big day for midfielders i mean i, I don't think we're going to get all the content today on this game like all those things that we're mentioning but thursdays uh you know recently have kind of been like preparation for the next week of what is upcoming remember last week on thursday they dropped the cup as well could be a new cup that will be coming tomorrow. Well, again, we'll talk about that, of course, as we get into tomorrow's video and everything that we learn today on this game. But, and Enzo Fernandez is the last big player name of the SBC that we're expecting. And if he drops today, plus the Festival Football Midfielder Academy Evo, there could be a lot of emphasis on midfielders today, which could actually make some of the midfielders from the Path to Glory team drop. Now, I'm looking at a couple prices right now. And as we kind of transition to talking about these cards a bit more with the the leaks and what is upcoming like i think today is going to be a day where these path to glory cards actually have some downward movements because of the content that is coming today potentially especially for midfielders if we get enzo and the evolution and the the guaranteed ptg the guaranteed ptg pack shouldn't make cards like the young crash right it could impact some prices on players like the fuel krug like the Schick, like the lukic the cards that you're going to pack the most common out of a kind of gamble pack like that we, we know right it's going to be those lower tier the fodder cards some people are going to get lucky and hit themselves at the young a ds and even a sabotser i would like describe as a lucky pack pull if this sbc cost 150 200 000 coins anything above that is going to be a good pull i think that the guaranteed pack if it comes out today and or, or tomorrow would impact these prices on the lower tier the most but the top tier could actually be positively impacted right kind of like we saw during the guaranteed tots sbcs every single week during team of the season we saw the top the tier top tier main players from those promo teams just kind of slowly start to rise after the guaranteed 
was out. And I don't think there's a lot of expectation for a guaranteed with this promo. So I don't know how much these cards are going to start to rise, but they're nearing the end of their stay in packs. And these are still live cards with, I mean, some of the biggest name players in Europe representing their nations for these live upgrades. So I think there could still be some greener pastures for profit and some price rises on these path to glories. But there is some risk with that as well. And before we get into the leaks of what the next promo is, I want to round out today's content on Wednesday just before we kind of get into that, just to finish it off nicely in, in transition there. Um, the 81 plus team of the week pick uh, should be dropping or, or not pick pack should be refreshing today. So there could be some more supply on team of the weeks. Actually, oh, it says it expires today. So hopefully the SBC comes back because we need this maybe ooh, ooh, maybe they're gonna actually do something with team of the season tradable today because this is going away i i mean hey i'm just scheming here maybe they're gonna actually finally supply tradable team of the season cards that would be nice just for the sbc likeness of that but it would be a good day to sell your tots anyway because of the demand for the sbc so that's just a thought but that is going away hopefully it does come back because that is kept at team of the weeks um in a nice price range for those that are buying them for sbcs also so the quick shout for the cup. I know there's two cups that are out right now, but the one cup that is more time sensitive than the other expires tomorrow. The One Nation Frenzy from Germany. And I'm literally telling this to you because I have not started this cup. Your boy is behind and I'm going to need the XP to get to my boy Florian Balogun in the season. So we got to play the cup today. Also, we got to play rivals to get the rewards. Ah, gameplay, man, for the rewards. We'll try to breeze through that as quickly as as possible. I think that's everything for today, though. The potential content plus those things refreshing. Of course, the usual 85 times 5 refresh, 84 plus pick refresh. If you've been doing any of those, I haven't. Watch out for that. Now, let's get to the biggest news. We've built it up enough. We've talked about it enough without saying it. Guys, the next promo that is coming to this game is already impacting the Path to Glory cards. And I'm not going to go super deep dive into it today because we'll save that for the more information that we get tomorrow and probably talk about it a lot more in tomorrow's video. But the Make Your Mark will be the next live promo. We mentioned this in yesterday's video. We knew there was a couple of card designs that could be coming for the next promo. This is the confirmed one. And guys, it's crazy. It is also a live card promo. Two live card promos in a row. And this is a two-week promo with these cards being live as well. It's kind of like future stars for the euros because all of these make your mark cards are going to be young players who have never played in the euros before the whole point of this promo is a player who is making their debut for their national team in either the euros or the copa america they get upgraded chemistry for debuting they get upgraded stats two potential upgrades for achieving two goals or two assists for attackers and midfielders or two clean sheets for goalkeepers and defenders. And then if the player makes five appearances in the competition, they get another second upgrade. So notice a couple things about that. It said nothing about play style plus upgrades. I think we might have on tap the first four play style plus base cards of the year. And there's some official leaks guys. And this is why this promo is starting to create some movement on the market. Virgil van Dyke is coming as a make your mark player. There's a potential for a plus two here. If the Netherlands go on a run, you know, he's going to be featuring in every single game, which I had to, I had to scratch my head and think van Dyke's never played in the Euros before. I went back and looked 2020. He didn't play because he was injured in 2016. Netherlands didn't make it. Or I think maybe I had those flipped, whatever it was. He has not ever played in the Euros. This is his first Euros crazy that he gets to feature in this team and have the potential which by the way his car is probably going to be higher statistically than his team of the season but his team of the season is 97 rated this card is probably going to be 97 as well but honestly guys i think it's going to be the first cards with four play style pluses and i think vvd will have four play style pluses he's going to be absolutely ridiculously broken in price but that card right there is one of the reasons why Shaliba, who I just sold and took some of the coins on, uh, is down. He's 1.69 mil. He was 1.8 yesterday. Um, you can see on his graph that his price has been dipping. Uh, let's see. Today, no, this is... I guess this is right, but he was 1.85 at one point, and he's kind of been dropping. He was 164 back to 169 where he is now. Guys, I'm expecting a little bit of panic on these PTG cards today, which is why you see me having a lot of my coins. I have not sold all of my PTGs, but I have sold most of them at still profit margins, right? I bought Saliba at 1.5. I bought the Alvarez, which 
This is one that I was really contemplating on holding. But guys, I think with more live cards coming, two weeks of live cards, and big names being introduced in this promo with the other leaks we'll look at in a second, I didn't want to risk it because I know a lot of people have invested in these, and I think there's going to be another window to buy these. I still think it's going to be a good time to buy the PTG cards. I just wanted to kind of take my profits, reset, wait and see what happens and what other news comes out for this promo. And then maybe later today at the earliest, but Thursday, Friday, we'll start to look at PTG cards again for another um, double dip investment opportunity. So that's kind of what I did there. Um, man, and then I look at the market and I see them, some of these guys like DeYoung is dipping down, Savitzer, the, the Kavaret Skelia, he is down. You know, I just think there could be a bit of panic today because it's crazy that we're getting another live card promo with players like VVD and Shua Many. Shua Many is going to be in this promo as well. That card is going to be cracked. I've been using this guy for a long time, and my team is a foot birthday, and now he's getting a card. This is crazy. Uh, and we're also getting a newest leak here, Cold Palmer. I think they used the wrong card design here, but Cold Palmer is getting a card in this promo as well. The names seem just as crazy, if not crazier, then the PTG cards. And I think every single country has got good players that could be included that are young players that are very hyped. That's why it kind of has a future stars kind of feel, right? Because there's definitely countries like Portugal. There's been no Portugal player that has been leaked yet. But like looking through this team, who hasn't played in the Euros before? Uh, you know, has Nuno managed? He's 21 years old. He might not have, this could be his first Euros, probably is, right? He could be getting a card. Um, Joao Neves is 19. See, it kind of has that future stars feel. Vitinha could be getting a card for Portugal. And then you look through some of the other nations. Who could be getting cards for, for you know, it's, who knows? Like, there's a lot of potential. And then Copa, there's going to be Copa America cards for this as well. Um, and, and if you guys know MJK from the stream, one of the mods, right? Top banter mod. He is really hoping for a Darwin Nunez. I believe it's Darwin Nunez's first Copa America. There's a lot of potential for big name players that could be released in this from the big nations. And I think it's going to impact the PTG cards, which is why I started to take some of the cash. And I think there will be some dips on these cards. So we're going to get more deeper into the weeds and talk about this promo more tomorrow because I do have some more thoughts about the upgrades, but I think we're going to learn more leaks today on Wednesday. This could be a very, very big promo, guys. Honestly, very big because Future Stars is always hyped. These cards could have four play style pluses, at least some of them, and they're live at the same time. So yeah, that is shaking things up a lot right now in this game, and I can't wait to talk about, about it more tomorrow because we're probably going to learn some more about it. So, yeah, that's most of the video today, guys. Again, I am saving my fodder because um, I really don't want to do a Raujo. I'm set on center backs. I'm going to wait and see what comes today on this game. Um, and, yeah, here's one last shout for the icons and for the heroes. If these are dropping a lot today... I would watch these the closest. Yeah, wow. Balak is under 400K again. Haji's 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, Petit's 350. Vidic is, yeah, 980. These cards have dropped off a considerable amount. Whoa, Di Natale, 1.38. Nah, man, that's crazy. I still have mine. Um, I think I was trying to sell him at 1.47, and, and he didn't sell. Um, but it looks like the market's taking a bit of a hit right now, boys. There's a little bit of panic, and I think there could be some more. Yeah, look at him, 1.385. So... Mm, that's a bit of a tough one because he is down and uh, it just it just feels like the market is going to drop a little bit more today. Now, we'll cover it all closely on the Twitch stream, on the videos tomorrow as well. But I'll just say be careful at this moment with those cards. It is very risky because of what has been leaked. And uh, even the rest of the market, guys, like take a look at the Ultimate Tots cards. It's not just the PTGs that are down. Um, you're noticing VVDs back under two mil after he's been leaked. Holland's down a little bit. Uh, let's see who else. Messi, just a smidge. Some of these cards I even saw were dropping earlier today, yes, uh, yesterday too, just with the leaks of what is to come. So that's enough waffling about the Make Your Mark promo. I'm excited for that already because that seems really, really cool for the players that could be included there. But we still have Path to Glory going on, and we're going to watch these very closely. Hopefully EA drop a banger day of content today with a PTG guaranteed, an Enzo Fernandez, and maybe an Evo. But I doubt we get all three of those things. So we'll see what they do. But guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel if you want to see our packs from yesterday. And I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there. It's been Nathan with Accountant. Peace.